horrific move. Iran's parliament voter votes to execute 15,000 protesters. Let me say that one more time, folks. Execute, as in kill, 15,000 protesters to teach hard lesson. Iranian lawmakers in recent days call for strict punishment for the protesters who have been arrested on Monday. CNN reported that a letter signed by 227 members of Iranian parliament, this is not 20, this is not 40, this is 227 Iranian parliament urged that the protesters be given harsh punishment that would serve as a good lesson in the shortest possible time. On Tuesday, parliament did just that, voting to impose the death penalty On all protesters in custody as a hard lesson for all rebels, the majority in favor of the penalty was considerable. 227 folks out of 290 total members. Matching the number of lawmakers who signed the letter, a court in Iran has issued the first death sentence to a person arrested for taking part of the protests that have engulfed the country, state media media says. Keep this in mind. It's 220 out of 290, okay? This, This is... This is not minority that's saying this. We're like, oh, my God, they're so extremists. No, no. This is Iran's parliament extremists. 227 victory over 63 to have 15,000 protesters be executed. So here's my my concern. This is my concern. Um, Human rights typically will be something where, you know, Jimmy Carter's always been known as the human rights person. Oh, he ran on human rights. Hey. I, I'm a human rights activist. I'm a human rights activist. This is why I'm for Zelensky. This is why I'm for Zelensky. Zelensky is the same person that came out and tweeted out in no time after the Poland story came out. And I don't know if you guys saw this, uh, uh, how opportunistic. He's starting to lose more and more credibility, by the way. Of course. He's an as actor. he's doing this, he put it out and had a call with president, expo- expressed condolences, president of Poland, exposed con- uh, condolences over the death of Polish citizens from Russian missile terror. We exchange available information are clarifying all the facts. All of Europe and world must be fully protected from terrorist Russia. So let me get this straight. Had a call with president of Poland, expressed condolences over the death of Polish citizens from Russian missile terror. So he's already saying... Accused. Mi- okay, accused. Yep. Then he says, we exchange available information and are clarifying all the facts. Wait a minute. That's... And what do you call that? An oxymoron? Like yeah, That's like ma- a complete opposite of... Contradictory. 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 So, so you're saying this, and then... Biden comes out, hey, we need another $37 billion for Wait, Ukraine. On and then Iran just announced that they want to execute 15,000 people. What is U.S. going to do about Nothing. that? If you're so concerned about human rights, this is an execution. This is not a bomb. This is not dying because of war. This is not soldiers dying because they're on front lines. This is protesters. And it, during COVID, if we had to choose between the left and the right that protested, the left was way more about protests and riots than the right. The only time the right was protesting is the January 6th, which turned into an insurrection. They categorized it. But all the other protesting and the riots that happened in the streets with business owners, yeah. nah, it's just protesting is a part of life in America. No problem. These are peaceful protesters, and now the government's saying 15,000 people are going to get executed. That's a mass. That's a, that's a government massacre they're gonna i'd like to know if in modern times anyone's ever announced something like this from a country that we have business dealings with that we're thinking about giving 150 billion dollars to to have a nuclear deal and saying well let's listen they're they're okay people in the government but they're gonna execute 15,000 protesters okay here's my question pat you nailed it where the hell is where is all the countries where where are we to help these people ukraine like by the way that was to me a setup bs thing where they just they just saw one missile hit two people died god rest their souls but they took that opportunity to go up and then the next day we're gonna about to send them 40 more billion dollars i don't think people grasp like think about this these people are locked up right now probably getting tortured Fifteen thousand people that were just in the street saying hey the government you know you know we're, we're, we're oppressed or whatever they're going to kill them, hang them, or shoot them. I don't know how it's going to happen. Where the hell is everybody? Where are all these people? I don't, I don't give a shit, and I'm tired of hearing. Well, Kim Kardashian tweeted. The girl that was here that day, Pat, remember? She was the noted whatever. She's like, well, Kim tweeted. I don't give a shit about a tweet. Where the hell is the force? Where's the military action? Where's the people going in there going, bro, that has to be stopped. Are we, are we going to just let that happen? 15,000 and a couple more. You know, they're going to be younger people too, Pat. There's kids. That we're protesting. They're all going to get murdered, dude. And where are we? Nobody's going to... What's a tweet going to do? 
Not well, a goddamn the, the, thing. This needs to be a global repudiation of this. This is this is disgusting. I mean, you know, we're talking about protests. I mean, you went on a rant here about what we're able to do here in America that that went pretty viral. But th- this is just a message as like as as bad as you may think you have it. Yeah. As bad as you may think you have it, living in the in the first world Western democracy, as victim mentality as you would like, these people just wanted to protest. Basic freedoms, not wearing a hijab, mm-hmm. and they're facing the death penalty. <laughs> not even facing, they're getting it. They're dying. Overwhelmingly, the the parliamentary system in Iran voted for this. What I'd be interested in knowing, there's probably no polling for this, what is the public sentiment? Like, is the public, you know, in, in favor of this in Iran? Or are they all disgusted, but they don't want to raise their voices for fear of being killed? I think this is, I think it's this the is what happens in a totalitarian, totalitarian theocracy where, you know, God wanted this. God wants these people dead for going against the system and the government. It's, it's just so disgusting. It's crazy that you and say it, that. Just this morning, because on, on Instagram, or just on that same post, people are like, what are you talking about? America? There's no way. I go, name one thing that I said that isn't true. You could do whatever the hell you whatever want. Whatever you want. These poor people just stood in the goddamn street, and bro, they're sitting in there right now, and now they know their yeah. fate, and nobody's going to do shit. The I worst, guarantee you, nobody's going to do shit because there's no money involved helping the them. The worst thing that happens here in America is they take away your Twitter account. Period. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're, yeah. Sorry, you've got three YouTube strikes. Yeah, Facebook jail. They're you, in real you, jail. You go to a protest murdered. here in Iran, you lose your life. Fuck, this is the so beauty mad. of America. Like, I'm reading this story, and like, part of me is like, this got to be a goddamn onion head. Like, this, this has to be an absurd joke. No, this is the reality of living in Iran. Yep. And this yep. is the reason that our leader, our CEO, PBD, was forced to escape his home country. Thank God, you know, born in Iran, made in America. But just a mat, you know, Pat, one of the things that you, the reason you do valuetainment is so you have a voice, right? I mean, you would not have a voice in Iran. You wouldn't be able to speak what's on your mind. You wouldn't be able to start a media company. The, the, the number one thing that I think that you, the reason you do this, we've all, we've, you've alluded to this, you could retire and sit on your money and just be chilling at this point. But you do this because you have a voice and you're a necessary voice. And people need need to hear what you have to say because you come from a country like this, right? You know, you know it's crazy with this. So let's let's actually play this out. Let's play it out. So let's play it out that they do what they just voted for, and they execute fifteen thousand people. Mm-hmm. Let's let's play that out. God forbid that happens. What do the Iranian people do? Does that make the revolution? A hundred times stronger, or does that get people to say, "Oh man, don't say anything because something's going to happen"? What do you think happens if they execute fifteen thousand? I have my own opinion. What do you think happens? Yeah, play, play this out. I, what do you I, think? I think Pat, because of the fear of fit, because mind you, like I said, this isn't twenty, this isn't forty, this isn't fifty people. Fifteen thousand people are going to get executed. I think it's gonna it's gonna quell it. What I hope, what I hope. People, more people go in the street. Like in Brazil, you see, there, yo, in Brazil, there's three million people in the street yesterday protesting because of the the rigged election. There, I think it's gonna make them not. They're gonna they're gonna calm down. What do you think? I think um, I disagree. I think what happens is you usually trigger this noble reaction that says, "I'm not giving up," and now I know, and I thought I had nothing to lose. Now I know I have nothing to lose because I'm not gonna live 85 years. Nope. And look up one day and say, why didn't I do something? They just, that 15,000 just died for me. I am not giving up. You attend to galvanize what's gone on. Take a look. And, and by the way, this is just because we see things. This is such a dramatic statement by a government. And PBD, you were asking, I haven't seen dramatic statements like this. But take a look at Darfur. Right? What's been going on in Darfur? More than 15,000 people have died in Darfur. Um, and you take a look at what's going on in Syria. I think over the last 10 years, more than 15,000 people have died in Syria. But it hasn't been this dramatic headline that says, you 15,000 that are in my cages right now, I am done with you and I'm doing it right now. Um, the West tends to watch things. I mean, this goes back to the Tutsi and the Hutu, if you know your, if you know your African history. And how groups have exterminated each other on political or racial lines. 
And I've just never seen a government in the modern time say the 15,000 that I have in prison, they're done right now. You've seen Syria. You've seen Darfur that over time, rebels over here, they, 100 of them die, 150 of them die. The numbers add up. I've just never seen it like this. And I think what's about to happen, if they move on this, they are going to galvanize this revolution. Mm. We got two minutes left. I'll so. say I'll say one thing, 30 seconds. Uh, what, do you, you know, what do you think? Thanksgiving is, um, is coming up and you know, every, we're all going to be sitting at the dinner table having conversations with our family. And then we joke, oh, don't talk politics at the dinner table. To answer your question, I want to know what those dinner table conversations are going to be for these 15,000 people's families having this conversation. And then their friends and family saying, did you hear about so-and-so? Obviously you know about so-and-so. And what happens at this dinner table will reflect upon what happens in the country. If there's people saying this is unacceptable and there's fighting and there's crying, but if there are people saying, hey, you know, we can't do this, I don't think there'll be those types of conversations, but there'll always be government support in, you know, in any uh, theocracy like this. But those dinner table conversations can be very telling of what's going to happen moving forward. Those 15,000 people, how many people you think they're connected to? That's what I was just going to say that. So Spread it out. A million yeah, plus so, people. So how many people love those 15,000 people? Right. What do you want to do? You want to do 10 times 50? You want to do 50 times 50? Their sisters, cousins, mothers, so uncles. Everything. Let's say a million people are tied to those 15,000. At least. Let's just At say, least. right? Yep. If a million are tied. Uh, if, if I all of a sudden think my life is no longer worth it and at any point this can happen to me, you're gonna see a different side of you. There's something weird happens when your life is like like this. You can lose it. You 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 fight in a different way. You your spirit in you know your spirit completely changes when at any point this can happen to you. So I don't know. I I uh, I, I I I God forbid this happens. I I pray for this not to happen because this is a tragic event. But if Iran follows through with this. I think it's going to be mayhem uh, to what's going to happen to them. People that are going to show up from places they've never, ever seen before. People who were not involved are going to get involved at levels they never seen before. It is not going to be a pretty thing for them to do. Mm -hmm. People like this don't make it. It's going to be catastrophic mm -hmm. for Iran's government if they even think about doing this year. It's not going to be pretty. Order your Future Looks Bright hat. Click over here. And to watch the entire podcast, click here. Take care, everybody.